Most North Texas districts have been back in class for nearly a month, but should students go back to school after Labor Day? Like many students on the East Coast, that's the pitch from one Texas lawmaker. And it's all because of our state's power grid. This is not a silver bullet to quote unquote fix the grid. This is just one component of common sense that we can say probably don't need to be cooling down all these buildings in the hottest month of the year. Well, Representative Jared Patterson there says it's just too hot for kids to go back to school in August, and it's stressing the power grid. He wants to introduce a new bill next year that would delay the start of school until after Labor Day. Like I said, most students on the East Coast do that, although he says he doesn't have any data to prove that it would actually help the grid here in Texas. Here's what Texas energy expert Doug Lewin said. There's a lot of people that then would be in their homes, right, that instead of in the school and then that home would be using more power. Um, I, I, you know, to I just I, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Instead, Lewin suggests solar powered schools would be better for the grid. As you can imagine, parents have some mixed opinions on the idea of a later start date.